Welcome to the Peruvian coast and its onshore Guano Islands, home and breeding sites of about 15 species of seabirds among penguins, gulls, terns, pelicans, cormorants, boobies, diving, and storm petrels. The marine ecosystem at this size of the world is special. It is colder than it is supposed to be due to the presence of a coastal upwelling and the cold, nutrient-rich humble current. A major portion of the primary production efficiently converge in a small schooling fish, the Peruvian anchovy or anchoveta. Tons of anchovy support the world's largest monospecific fishery and millions of resident and migratory seabirds and other marine predators. Some of the seabird species, the Wanai cormorant, the Peruvian booby, and the Peruvian pelican, locally known as guano birds, produce large amounts of guano that is still harvested to be used as a natural fertilizer. Thus, fisheries and guano harvesting are key activities that are closely tied to the abundance and behavior of Peruvian seabirds. We, as a research unit, study the Peruvian seabirds because we are passionate about their life histories, but also because we think they are useful indicators of the ocean health. In Peru, the islands and the marine environment are threatened by overfishing, pollution, introduction of invasive species and sustainable recreational activities, global warming, and more recurrent El Niño events. Thus, seabirds are key sentinels of the Peruvian Sea. We regularly monitor the abundance of guano birds with the use of drones, measure their phrenology and breeding success with time-lapse cameras, determine their diet to track anchovy availability and plastic pollution, use biologging techniques to follow them at sea and have started a mice eradication program to protect the Peruvian diving petrel. Some of this work is undertaken in collaboration with foreign institutions, so if you are interested, you are welcome to join us. We hope this short video will blow your mind and will get impressed about the landscape and our work. The Peruvian islands are located in the southeastern Pacific Ocean, a few miles offshore from the Peruvian coast. There are between 25 and 30 islands and dozens of islets from Isla Foca in the north to Isla Santa Rosa in the south. Some are as big as Lobos de Tierra with 1,600 hectares and others as small as Isla Chao with less than one hectare. Not all of them are Guano Islands, and most of them are inside two marine protected areas. To increase Guano bird nesting sites, the Peruvian government fenced off many headlands with two, three high concrete walls in the 1950s. The walls isolated the birds from natural terrestrial predators and humans. Today, only seven of them are protected. The Guano Islands are barren, dry, and covered by a layer of guano that is thick enough to be harvested on some islands every four or five years. There are 18 seabird species reported to breed in the Peruvian coast. The Guanai cormorant is one of the most abundant and has been historically recognized as the major guano producing seabird. They nest in large colonies up to 500,000 hairs. The Peruvian boogie is another one of producing seabird that feed primarily on anchovies. They have the largest broods of the sulids, being able to raise up to four chicks per brood. The Peruvian pelican is the less abundant of the guano birds. They can feed during the day and night, and our data suggests that they interact with the commercial fisheries more often than the other two 
guano bird species. The presence of humble penguins in Peru is associated with the cold waters of the humble current. The Inca turtles are very common and abundant in the Peruvian coast. They nest in holes, crevices, and any artificial structure that provides coverage and shade. They breed twice a year and feed primarily on anchovies. The Peruvian diving petrel nests on four islands in Peru, but only on Isla La Vieja, more than 95% of the Peruvian population breed. They are threatened by the invasion of house mice. Hi, my name is Carlos Avalaga and I am the director of the Marine Research Unit, Peruvian Seabird Group, Universidad Científica del Sur. Um, we are now on Isla Guanape Norte in Peru. And this is one of our main study sites where we do a lot of research on Peruvian seabirds. And I will show you in a minute many, many details about our work on the island. Okay, this is the main house of Agro Rural. Agro Rural is the Peruvian agency that harvests the guano. And uh, this is the main house, and there, you know, there are living rooms and, and dorms. And we use some of the rooms as, um, or we use the house as a research, temporary research station when we are coming here to study the birds. And on the other side, uh, you can see the big balcony here. And on the other side, you can see other buildings used during the Guano campaign. Guanyape Island um, is a barren desert island covered by Guano. No vegetation at all. It has 30 hectares and is located in northern Peru. Not too far away from the coastline maybe five, six miles from the coast, birds. Um, we have the one-eyed cormorant, the Peruvian booby, the Peruvian pelican, the Inca terns, the humble penguins, the red-legged cormorants, and some, I think the band-tailed gull, sometimes the belcher's gull, sometimes. This is an old building, these are like small constructions made perhaps 70, 80 years ago. And they are all made very artisanal, like you know, stone and uh, mortar. And when we are working with the uh, seabirds, so as you can see, it's very easy to monitor. Um, different aspects of the breeding biology and foraging ecology. When we are working, uh, walking here, for example, you start seeing the 
Peruvian booby nest very close to us you know like here for example we have some nests with chicks two three chicks is the common brood size of Peruvian boobies and here on yeah so they are very tolerant to human presence now it's around noon and some nests only have one parent taking care of the chick or brooding the chicks and the mate is foraging So we are heading to the dock and on the back, on this side, on the back, you can see a black spot, pit one, on the slope of the hill and what you are seeing there is the one-eyed cormoran colony. Um, and also you see some wooden platforms used for loading the guano or sending the guano in sacks from the island to the boats. And underneath you have very good conditions for humble penguin nesting because they love cover and areas that are cooler than the you know, exposed environment and there are many humble penguins nesting underneath that platform okay so you see a group of inca terns they also nest here and they like they love to nest in holes uh, everything they can find with a shade or a hole they will use it for nesting there are some individuals nesting right now in November. Yeah.